Welcome, today's training session is a cardio ladder and a little bit of core conditioning combined. It's fast, it's furious, it's full power. I'm just gonna give you the exercises, shout out the reps. The Fitter Club team, James and George, are gonna smash through them. You need to do your best to stay with us and smash through them as well. Under control, time under tension, we're going to train these muscles hard today. Going to get a great cardio training effect. And really, like I said, I'm just going to shout out the reps and you're going to blast through. As always, before we start Fitter Club team, we need to be nice and warm. So the first thing that we're going to do is a little jog on the spot. Okay, so <laughs> raising the knees up, <laughs> drive the arms back, James. That's good, that's it, George. You bring the energy, we bring the workouts, tailor-made for you. You tailor-make your energy levels today. You decide how much energy and effort you're going to bring to really get the best out of this workout. So just a little bit of a pulse raiser before we go into the ladders. I will explain them more as we go through this warm-up. Go for 10 high pull-downs as part of your warm-up. So you're just reaching high and drawing the knee up. Once you've done 10 of those, you're going into 10 spotty dogs. So lift the arms up. We want to warm up through the shoulders and the legs. 10 spotty dogs. The next part of your warm up is going to be 10 squats, but keep them nice and slow and really test out the range. So look to go nice and low and open up a little bit through the hips before we start. So by opening up through the hips now, you're kind of replicating some of the movements that we're going to be doing in the main workout. It's ladders today. So we're going to start off at the top end of one exercise and superset the ladder. So you're climbing down on one exercise and up on the other, supersetting through. Shoulder circles is next, team. Just mix it up, either both arms together, one arm at a time. We're just testing out a little bit of the mobility through the shoulders and the range and the warmth through your shoulder joint. So on some of these particular exercises, it'll feel pretty tough at the time. But the good thing about this is it gets a little bit easier as you go on. So you just keep bringing the energy and the power to each move. It's a great training session. After your shoulder rolls, you're going to go into some hip openers. So just draw the leg up. One of our favourite mobility moves. Just opening out through the hips. We need this, all I want you guys to do is just keep doing those hip openers. You follow along at home and I'm going to talk you through the workout. The first exercise on the ladder is a burpee and you're going to combine that with a mountain climber. When it says one mountain climber rep, that means on each side. Okay, so if, you do, if you're down on one on the ladder, one is this. One on each leg. Okay, then you follow me, I'm just going to guide you through and instruct you. We'll take a little bit of a breather. And the second ladder is grasshoppers combined with speed skaters. Keep doing those hip openers. You want to be nice and warm through those as I talk through. Really exaggerate the move. So grasshoppers and speed skaters are each side as well. Okay? So one grasshopper is this and then you're up into your speed skater is one, okay? I'll keep reminding you as we go through because when you're in the zone, I know it's tough to remember. From there, you're gonna go into a high knee pull down on the last ladder and you're gonna combine with the high knee pull down the plank jack. On that one, on the high knee pull down is one, okay, so one each side, but on the plank jack, it is only one. So, I'm just doing it to confuse you, really. <laughs> That's one plank jack. But as we reset in the middle, we're just going to remind you as you go through, 
bring the energy, bring the power. Are you guys ready? Yeah. So our first ladder is going to be burpees into mountain climbers. Really with this one, I'm shouting out the moves, blast through. It's just about maximal effort for this one. It really is a great cardio ladder and core conditioning. We're going to go in three, two, one, 10 burpees, off you go. Just flow through guys, nice and controlled. Breathe hard, breathe very hard or you're gonna regret it later in the workout. Make sure you're breathing strong. You guys have gone full power into those burpees with a really good controlled range on the lowering phase. You're powering through the hip at the top of the move. Is that 10? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so take a breather, just a quick breath. A mountain climber, one complete mountain climber, so a knee drive on each side is one. Then you're back up the ladder for nine burpees, okay? This is why it's a cardio challenge. Off you go. Nine in total. So it's tough now. So you raise the bar right from the start, 100%. You're on nine burpees. Doing well, guys. That's it, just stay in time. It's good. So lowering phase is under control with the jump at the top. Keep it flowing. We're powering up through the hips. Nine in total. Take a breath, roll the shoulders. So what's great about that and you, what you need to focus on is you fire the legs back fast, keep control on the lowering phase before you go again on those burpees. Okay, two mountain climbers, so four in total. Back to the top, we start this one in style, don't we? So eight burpees, that's how we do it, off you go. Eight burpees. The legs are firing back and the jump at the top. So you're just saying to yourself, fire, power, jump. Fire, power through the hips, jump, good. Great rhythm, great control, great control. Firing those legs back fast, James. Good stuff, good stuff, George. So take a little bit of a breath. You brace yourself through your core in this upward planks position. Three mountain climbers, so six in total. Six knee drives in. Reset, refocus the mind. What's great about these is your lowering phase as you place the hands down. We're doing these slow and controlled, really firing through the hips. Seven burpees. Do your best to stay with us, fit a club team. Flowing through, great range. It's you versus you. Good. You've gone through the toughest bit of those burpees, trust me. We start with a big peak at the beginning. Okay, so on the ladder it's four mountain climbers, that's eight in total. Let's go, pump those knees in. Reset, and that ladder is getting easier on the burpees. Power through. Let's go, six burpees. Keeping the jump at the end. Good stuff, team. 
proper job with that range of movement. And what's good is that lowering face. I'm gonna jump at the top. Really good. One more. One more for James. Good stuff. Six, that was. Good, he's going a bit delirious. He's in the zone, he's so focused. So you take that recovery, that six mountain climbers. No, that was six burpees, five mountain climbers, 10 in total. It's just five on the ladder. It makes the ladder make sense, but it's too easy just to do five singles. You're rocking back up into five burpees. You're on five. Let's go. With the jump at the top. Guys, the way you're firing those legs back is brilliant. And the lowering face, these are super good burpees. Keep going. Down into your six. Mountain climbers, 12 in total then. Pump those knees in. Tell you what, let's have a really strong finish to this ladder and we have a recovery in between. So it's a really strong finish now as the burpees have got easier. Four burpees is what you're on, George. Good stuff. Let's have a really strong finish to this ladder because these two moves combine so well now. Four burpees. From the four burpees, it's 14 mountain climbers total. Go, go, go. Feel good factor is going through the roof. You just keep bringing the energy. You pop back up, you roll the shoulders. You have a very quick focus and you hit three burpees. Let's go. Three burpees, you got these. Finish strong. Trust me, I'll give you that little recovery. 16 mountain climbers in total. Keep going, finish line is in sight. 16 mountain climbers, you're driving the knees in. Finish strong everybody, everything that you've got. You pop back up and it's just two burpees to go. You are doing so well. Let's go, let's go. Hands down, fire those legs, power back up is one. Power back down is two. Now, it's nine on the mountain climbers, 18 in total. This is what it's all about. This is where we challenge to change. So by holding that plank position, it's tough on the core. You're driving those knees in for that cardio ladder training effect. You breathe in hard, team. That's the cardio training effect. That's why it's called a cardio ladder, because you're training that system hard. Right now, you have one burpee, the best burpee you've ever done. You're firing back, there's the power, good stuff. And you rock straight into 20 mountain climbers total before your recovery. Really drive those mountain climbers up. And recover. Stand tall, keep it moving. So that second ladder, your second ladder as a reminder, is your grasshoppers into your speed skaters. So remember on your grasshoppers, um, you're drawing the elbow, sorry, the knee right up high to the elbow and switching guys, but keep the back nice and flat, wrists, elbows, shoulders all aligned. And then you're straight up into your speed skaters. So find a little bit of space for yourselves and go. Make sure you've got plenty of space at home. We're going into our ladder and we're starting with 10 grasshoppers. Total of 20 grasshoppers because it's one each side. So like the burpees, it's tough to start, but way easier than that first ladder. Okay. You've done some good tough work to take that heart rate up. Let's go in three, two, one. 20 total grasshoppers, so you're switching through. Amazing range of movement. Fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. Power, 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 power. A total of 20 grasshoppers. Find some space and you're into two speed skaters. Okay, 
recover, breathe, 18 grasshoppers. Take a moment guys to reset at the top and bottom of each exercise. Take a moment just to grab your breath because it flows through with a lot of repetitions. Four speed skaters. 16 grasshoppers. Power, 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 let's see it. Really driving through, fast feet. 16 in total. So you can go fast feet, more of a plyometric, dynamic movement like George, or keep the, keep the plank movement with a high knee. So speed skaters, don't go too fast team. Get that big movement across. So your speed skaters, you were on six there, right? Yeah. So you now have 14 grasshoppers to do. getting easier. Breathe hard. That's what it's all about. Okay, so you gather yourself. Please keep doing this. Reset in between the ladder and now you have eight. Oh, eight. Yeah, right. I think I'm right. Might be wrong. Just do eight. Let's go. Eight speed skaters. So you're now going through 12 grasshoppers. We're on course, guys. 12 grasshoppers. I confused myself with the ladder because it's singles and doubles. So from 12 grasshoppers, you go through five speed skaters, but it's 10. 10 speed skaters. Five weeks, five. Yes, mate, good, let's see it. Big power. Ten grasshoppers. Let's go. Reset. Breathe. Twelve speed skaters. It is tough. We keep powering forward. Let's go. Twelve speed skaters. Reset, breathe, eight grasshoppers. We're doing well, keep powering through. We're testing that heart. That's what we want to do. Fourteen speed skaters. Deep breath and go. Fourteen speed skaters. You get a short recovery very soon. You just keep that cardio training effect. So from your 14 speed skaters, you have just six grasshoppers. Reset, breathe, go, 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 straight in. 34, you have 16 total on your speed skaters. Recovery coming very soon. Go, 16. Look for those big strides across. Doing so well, keep this energy. Team, you're doing so well. You have four grasshoppers, keep this energy. Then you have 19, 18 <laughs> speed skaters, added on one extra there. Roll those shoulders, breathe, and 18 speed skaters, off you go. Driving across, doing well. Eighteen speed skaters in total. Two grasshoppers. Pop yourself up. You guessed it. 
20 speed skaters. I can count. <laughs> Breathe and go. You're doing so, so well. Keep this energy up. 20 in total. You just need to complete 20, team. When it's done, you get that short recovery before the last ladder. 20 speed skaters. And recover. You just have one ladder to go. Breathe, recover. So just keep moving, just keep rolling the shoulders out. Your third ladder, cardio challenge, this is what I mean. So those first two ladders really contribute to the cardio challenge on these. We started with burpees, those grasshoppers are way harder than what they seem when you slow them down and demo. It just racks up that cardio training effort. Your third ladder is the high knee pull downs. Okay, so a little bit less taxing than those first two cardio moves, but continuing on the training effect. So each, each so when, it, when it's 10, it's 20, okay? So you're doubling up, and then you're gonna go into singles for the plank jack, keep it strong, power, back, reset so you're shifting up and down again so just make sure that you get a breath and a reset to really make sure you do the exercise as well you're doing so well this is great energy keep following along at home it's a challenging high energy real cardiovascular challenge this one we're going into those high knee pull downs three two one 20 in total so fly through them One plank jack. Give yourselves plenty of space. 18 high knee pull downs. Let's get this cardio going. Keep it going rather. This is good guys. Really reach high. Two plank jacks. So strict body position and then really fire through those legs. 16 of your high knee pull downs. So that ladder is getting easier now. There's less cardio and a little bit more core. Three plank jacks. Take a nice deep breath. 14 of those high pull downs. Fly through. High arms, 14, let's go. Power, power. Good stuff, yeah, don't go too fast. Nice and controlled. Four plank jacks, fast toes. Reset, roll the shoulders, breathe, fill with a breath. You're on 12. 12 high knee pull downs, let's go. Five plank jacks. You just bring the energy, keep it going. Five plank jacks. Breathe. 10, just 10. Just 10, let's go. Six plank jacks, fast feet. Get nice and flat through the lower back. Eight high knee pull downs. Go, 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 that's the spirit. Get stuck into this, really tear into this little finale. You're on seven, seven plank jacks. Keep firing through, team. Just six pull downs, six. Eight plank jacks. 
Nice flat body position, fire through. Keep it going, keep it going. Four high knee pull downs, keep going, keep powering through. Nine plank jacks, such a good combination of moves. You keep going, keep pushing on. Determination. Two pull downs. One, two, reset. Ten plank jacks. Finishing off the ladder in style. Fast feet. Stand tall and just catch your breath. Awesome, awesome, three big ladders. Massive well done. That's the training effect that you should get at home if you followed along. They're tough ladders, a combination of moves that really challenge the core and the cardiovascular system. All I want you to do is just keep moving, keep that blood flowing. So just shake it out, maybe just some step backs or a little bit of an elbow to knee, whatever it is, just for about a minute, you just let that heart rate come down. So you know our, our cardio moves, you just take it to a lower level just to let that heart rate come down. Then I'm going to come, combine a few stretches for you at the end. Awesome cardio ladders. That is hard training. That's one of the real peaks of your training program. If you're flying through that, you're doing very, very well. At times it's wise as we did. You just stop, you reset. You take a deep breath so that you can hit the exercise hard. It's good, you had a great boost of energy towards the end of that last ladder. Really good. I was trying to keep up. Trying to keep up <laughs> with George, yeah. Full of energy. Right guys, so stretch time, a little bit, a tiny bit of flexibility, but we're gonna keep them all standing just so that you're letting that heart rate come down. So your first stretch is a standing quad stretch. So knees together. Just, if you can, keep in the balance. Chin is up, just a few seconds on each side. Sit, take deep breaths. You're just letting that heart rate come back down. It's good. I love the combination of those and the challenge of counting as you go. That's what it's all about. So it's a good flow. Quad stretch, front of the thigh. From the quad stretch, just stride back, calf stretch. So you just plant in the heel a little bit. Well, in every exercise, really, you're hitting the calf, particularly the burpees, flying up through. Short, yet really effective at taking that heart rate up. Sometimes people just put too much time into their workouts and not enough intensity to get the training effect. So that's a stride back, just like a calf stretch. Hamstrings next. So because you've really taken that heart rate up, we're gonna do a standing hamstring stretch. So you reach up and across for a cross body toe tap through the hamstrings over and across. That's the way. Reach up, reset, reach high, opposite side. So a pulse lowerer and a little bit of flexibility. Good stuff, guys. Three upper body stretches. Gonna link the fingers behind your back and just lift up and away. Chest stretch. Also hits the front of the shoulder. Find it tough from the start with the burpees. Soft. Yeah, soldier through those. That's a really tough start, but it sets the tone and it's a little bit of just a focus right from the start. Shoulder next. Just draw the arm across. So you're either on the forearm or on the upper arm, just stretching across. Really good shoulder stretch. Release, switch sides. We're just letting that heart rate come down at the same time. And last of all, we're just gonna ease off a little bit between the shoulder blades. So we'll reach forward, link the fingers together we always say is if you're hugging a big tree, 
a really big hug out to open out through the shoulder blades. And release. Take a deep breath, fill the lungs, reach high. And as you bring the hands back down, give yourselves a massive round of applause. That was very high energy, very high intensity. That's your cardio and core ladder done. Another workout under the belt. Keep it consistent, keep it high energy, put everything into these training sessions to get the massive rewards out. Well done, keep it going, awesome work.